Hi, this is Ben Murray, and in this video I'm going to introduce version 1 of my new Excel add-in. So let's take a look at the features. So you can see I've got Excel open right now, and at the top of the menu ribbon I have the SAS CFO Excel add-in installed. So let's start with the first feature, external links. So one of my pet peeves when I'm forecasting building financial models is I'm taking tabs from other models, inserting those tabs into my model, and then that sometimes create external links. And then I cannot find all those external links to change those links to the current file. So I've solved this with this button. All we have to do to find all external links in the open workbook is click on this, and it creates a new tab called external links and tells you where all the links are located in the current file and the tab and the cell. So in column A here we have the tabs where the external links are located, the cell reference so we can navigate right to that cell, and then the formula within that cell. So no more control F trying to find those links, not finding them, and wondering where they're buried in your worksheet. The next area of functionality is deleting all notes and comments within your file. So say for example you want to send a forecast to a bank, a potential investor, and you don't want them to see the notes that you've made in your file. So we've got these test notes here. All we have to do is delete all notes and they're gone. And depending on which Excel version you have, I also have delete all comments functionality, which will delete all comments. Now I don't have the latest version of Excel yet, so it won't work in my case, but it'll work just like delete all notes, depending on your version of Excel. The next thing is currency. So my SANS financial plan has been downloaded thousands of times, but not everyone wants to forecast in dollars. So I've got dollars formatted throughout that file. So rather than going and finding all cells with the dollar currency in it, you can now easily switch the currency within the file by clicking on currency switch. It'll open the format cell dialog box. We can select which currency we'd like to change it to and then hit OK and it'll change all instances of that in the workbook. You can see this is still formatted with accounting currency. So the next functionality is accounting switch. So often, really, when I'm forecasting, I am using the accounting format currency here. So if you're using that format, we can also do the switch on the currency there by hitting accounting switch, selecting the currency, changing it, and now that currency is switched. And if we go back to this other tab, you can see it's also changed here, so I'll change it everywhere within the workbook. The final area is this if error, then NA, and then zero. So how many times have you created formulas, and then sometimes the cell comes up with an error in it, and you just want to show zero or NA. So to get rid of that, rather than going into the cell, typing if, if error, etc., and copying that over, you can now highlight the cells that you'd like to change and add the if error functionality. So you can now see, if we click on this, if error has been added with the NA. Now let's say zero is more appropriate if we have an error. You just click this, and now if error puts in a zero. So it just saves you a lot of time. I'm already using this in the forecast models that I've created. So this is version one of the Excel add-in. So thanks for checking it out, and I hope it helps you in your everyday Excel life.